You did great in the caverns. You got down to level 50. It's still springtime. You're gonna love those tundra boots. By the way, I've been playing I've been playing Stardew Valley for the last week. I'm obsessed with it. Great, my progress has been saved. What's going on, boys and girls? What's up, world? Austin John Place here, and today we're gonna be talking about the brand new update for Super Smash Bros. Ultimate version 2.0 with Piranha Plant. <laughs> So as of right now, Tuesday, January 29th, 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, or anytime you're watching this video in the future, Piranha Plant is now playable in Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. In order to download the update for Super Smash Bros. Ultimate, you do need to update your Switch to the new newest firmware. I believe it's 1.7. 1.7 sounds right? Yeah. Let's go ahead and update Super Smash Bros. via the internet. Currently on 1.2.1. I think I missed some stuff. I've been away for a week and a half. And there we go, currently downloading. Let me go grab my game cartridge, wait for this to download, and let's boot it up. Do keep in mind, in order to get Piranha Plant in your game for free right now, you have to register your game before February 1st at midnight Pacific Standard Time. And that way, you're going to be able to get Piranha Plan. Now, do keep in mind that it can take up to 10 days to get your redemption code if you bought a physical copy of the game. Be sure to check your spam folder, a whole bunch of stuff. I actually already made a video on everything you need to do in order to get ready for this exact moment. There will be a card in the top right corner later in the video as well as the end screen. If you did not purchase Super Smash Bros. Ultimate and redeem your code before February 1st at midnight, being meaning like the first minute of February, and then as long as you redeem it before the last minute of January ends, you should be fine. But as far as that goes, as long as you redeem it before February, you're fine. If you do not, that does not mean that you're completely out of luck. You still can get Piranha Plant in your game. He is going to be available at a later point in time via purchased DLC. I'm pretty sure everyone who wants to have Smash Ultimate already has Smash Ultimate, right? 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 Great. Piranha Plant joins the battle. There you go, just like that. As soon as you start up the game, he's unlocked. Version 2.0.0 is now live. You can confirm your current version by clicking the upper right corner of the title screen. For more details, select details. Let's check out the details, because none of you are going to read the details. Offline, you can now play Spirit Board with up to four players. That's pretty neat. Select the spirit you want to challenge on the Spirit Board, and then go to Party Fighter and select the number of people who want to play. That's pretty neat. The below spirits will now appear in the shop. Partner Pikachu, partner Eevee. Nice, those were previously exclusive to if you played Let's Go Pikachu and Let's Go Eevee. Dice Block, River Survival, Golden Dash Mushroom. Oh nice, those are all from other Nintendo games. There's also an adjustment to the calculation method for Global Smash Power, which is pretty neat. Adds the DLC Fighter Piranha Plant, that's why you all click this video. Pressing both jump buttons at the same time will now cause you to do a short hop. Ooh! That's pretty helpful. Fix the issue where the KO score included your teammates' KOs when the team attack was on. Various bug fixes. So on and so forth. Let's do Piranha Plant. Reminder, early purchase bonus. We already know about this and I already talked about it in the video. Oh, there we go. Neat. Unlock. Challenge the spirit board with up to four players. There he is, Piranha Plant. I think I'm missing Dark Samus and some other people. Huh. Alright. So this game I've been actually slacking. He's available in red. Green and yellow, yellow and white, purple and white, black and white, white and gray, purple and white with a slight pink hue to the lips. Are they lips? I don't know. Blue and white with yellow leaves and original. Oh, I like the way like the way Xander says that. <laughs> so, all right, so Piranha Plant when he walks, you can see actually little stems pop out of the bottom when. It, that's pretty neat. B shoots out a spiny ball. And then if you hold B, it can actually be spinning in the air. That's pretty neat. This is just straight up like a Super Mario Brothers obstacle. And then you spit it back out. What if you're not there? Oh! And you can throw it at people. Regular jab. Oh, I like the new short hop command. So down B, apparently you're gonna charge, and then... 
Okay, that's a little bit of a game changer. So when you do down B and release it, it shoots straight up. Or you can actually tilt where you're gonna be gonna be escaping from. Wow. Alright. That's some hefty damage right there. Up B, you turn into a whirlycopter. And forward B, so the poison bubble does a healthy amount of damage, but there's no launch to it. 186. Wow! That was stupid amount of damage. He's at 242. Did you see that? That's over 50 damage in a single attack. That's insane. That is so nuts. His smash attack, he turns into a bouldery guy. And the up B is a, a little bite in the air. I like that. It looks pretty ferocious. So yeah, there we go. Piranha Plant is now available for Super Smash Bros. Ultimate, as long as you've already registered the game. Wow. That is some fantastic recovery. You see that? That is nice. He has a really high hop. Yeah, that is definitely enough to be off of the board. I can't wait to see all the people on Twitter who are going to be doing like crazy combos with like him being able to like up attack tilt attack love it guys piranha plant is now in the game be sure to use it be sure to make a meme of it ne till next time austin john out